Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT, I saw something on the internet and I needed to bring it up to you because I know it's something that you give a shit about. Sorry, give a crap about. We're in the first I minute. know, in the first 30 seconds. I'm can... a piece of crap, dude. What can I say? <laughs> it's okay. All it's right. all right. It's uh, fine. Uh, what do I care about? I care about boobs. <laughs> it's not about boobs. Money. Money? It's not about money. Um, a little bit about money, but not your money. Uh, Elon Musk. Uh, no. He... Okay. Uh, money. It's not any of those. Food? Nope. Uh, it's something that's very dear to you, so I'm sure you haven't said... Pornography? <laughs> is that, what, what are we talking about here? No, no. What are we... Overwatch League is shutting down. No, yeah, that's sad. Yeah, and yeah. it says Microsoft may lose $120 million no. over that. So it is kind of about money, just not your money. And, like, I know, like, you don't... I don't. I know you're not sitting here with, like, a Team X t-shirt on or anything. You want to get your Omaha it's Dreadnoughts very, jersey. I'm not... Over what? Your Omaha Dreadnoughts. Omaha. I don't know. I just picked it. <laughs> Not even a team. I, uh, Shanghai Knights. I would think that my favorite team was probably the Houston Outlaws. Okay, all right. That sounds like a sounds like a Madden expansion team. It it was not. It was a. I mean, it does sound like it. Sound, I mean, we did the we did the the Austin. What was it? Desperados. The Austin Desperados. Very yeah. Desperados. Desperados. So, yeah, man, it was, a. Uh... So, okay, well, apparently I just can't get in. Or, you know what, so, yeah, what, what, what eventually happened with Overwatch League, I know a little bit about it, is that it just wasn't profitable. It wasn't a profitable system. They had an idea of taking these teams and flying them from state to state like they would for, like, a... Uh... Yeah. Would you think that flying people across the world is cheap? The game was very popular. The game was a, it was game of the year. The year it came out. Yeah, it was one of the the most popular games, like period for years and years. And we're going back to Overwatch One. This is like when it was. I mean, they're at, basically the same game. When it was when it was at its peak of popularity, though, like when the big streamers used to play it and like Ninja and and Tim the Tattooed Gamer. Tim the tattooed gamer. Yeah, in the X in the X uh the XC X X C X C Q. Q Q C Q the Q V C Q V C shop. Q V C guy, yeah, he used to play it too. Oh, he really was an X Q V C guy? Yep, yep. Oh there's an there's an uh X Q C. He's one of the most popular streamers out there. What about oh, Dirty Dynamite? Uh I'm not up there. Doctor Dirty what's the guy? Doctor Who? Doctor Are you talking about Hassan Abi? No, his name's Doctor Something. Uh, and he's Doctor really... Doctor Disrespect name on Twitch. Oh. <laughs> but but regardless, back in the day, it was a very popular game. So these guys took a chance and they said, We want to start a video game, a competitive league for just this game now they're not they're not alone there's a lot of video games that have this street fighter has a street fighter league uh wow has a wow league there's a uh there's a uh, does everyone say wow that anyone watches it (laughs) no there's but there are there's leagues for csgo as one of the biggest leagues out there in video games exactly So it wasn't, and that too, game was made in like 2000. Yeah, exactly, and, that, and and it wasn't too far out of the idea for Overwatch to do the same thing with the with the pomp and circumstance following it. I, now, unfortunately, they made a lot of bad decisions and deve- when it came to um, updating the game, and it lost a lot of its popularity through that. Uh, I've heard that CS:GO is one has one of the highest skill floors out of any game you can play. Like, it, there's no yes. like. There's no like AI assist at all. Like that game is a hundred percent like skill, um, or close. It's one of those yeah. like very skilled games. There's no like aim adjust or anything. It's like I mean, it's it's a it's a video game. I mean, you ain't wrong. I'm not <laughs> so, saying that it's like so. I, it's like I don't know how much any difference there is. I would say is that all video games have a certain amount of skill, and if you can succeed, and what the most important part is is learning from your mistakes, then you can succeed at any video game. Um, no. If I were to pick it up right now, I'm not going to go to the grand finals, but you give me a couple months. Quarterfinals? Nah, All right, challenge accepted. Go it, ahead, bro. Go up, move over to CSGO. No, I'm a Moira man, Try hard, buddy. bro. Go I'm, try hard. I'm a, I'm a Moira main now, buddy. We don't, we don't do that. Stole my character. 
<laughs> Took her to Diamond. Oh, <laughs> ayo. <laughs> it's really not a flex either. But yeah, I do I love I do love, love Overwatch League. I'm very sad to see the, the owl go. I was looking for they had like a heartwarming like cer- ceremony for it and everything. I, I, yeah, of course I watched it. And they had like some final words to give to the teams and like all the, the staff members that have been carrying the league with their presence and their commentary. They were up on stage and they were crying. There was tears flowing. It was a very heartfelt moment. And yeah, it's a sad state. Um, So a lot of the teams actually had to pay a $6 million uh, what do you, exiting fee. Wait, they had to pay money to quit a league that wasn't going to be around anymore? Oh yeah, you signed a contract, right? You signed a contract. You're going to be in Overwatch League, right? So then they're like, we're taking it away and you have to pay us money. Uh, it's like you either pay the money or you continue to bleed money because you're not making anything off of Overwatch League. As far as like monetization for like uh, the the league players and teams, all they have are like they have a certain subset of skin sh- shaders, I guess, and like little weapon charms you can put on your weapon and the teams get all the profits of that that are sold. And now, mind you, there's a lot of them sold, but you're talking about hundreds of players, so... Yeah, yeah like, if it would have came to Austin, would you have went and watched? Like, yeah. If, like, Stubbs had Overwatch League Outdoor Expo, and you could, like... Yeah, I probably would have. I'm definitely not driving all the way to Houston to see the Outlaws or, or Dallas to see the Fuel, but... uh Oh, you could have. Yeah, if Austin had a team, you know, it's I really funny. If you would have asked me, I probably would have went with you. I wouldn't have gone to a Dallas Fuel game. We could have went and interviewed people for the channel, bro. <laughs> yeah, like they're gonna talk to us. It's like a Trump rally, but different. <laughs> how is how is an Overwatch League game like a Trump it's rally a very at all? Subset of people. It is a very unique subset of people. You can talk to them about their passions. And that's like saying that Olive Garden is like a Trump rally because it's a very unique subset of people. Everyone goes to Olive Garden. Not everybody. I mean, what are you trying to say? White people? No, I'm trying to say family, John. Oh, Jesus, family. T- oh, buddy. <laughs> Single geez. guys go to Olive Garden. I happen they, to love. They eat as much breadstick as they can eat. I happen to love Olive Garden. I'm as black as the day <laughs> is long. <laughs> I don't even know what we're going. I didn't know if you were trying to pigeonhole my my mothership into a certain subset of olive. Well, I didn't think I was that transparent. But, uh, <laughs> right, we all yeah. know about your racist tendencies. Oh, no, whoa! <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's like uh, I, I I don't know if uh, an Overwatch League game is is like a, a Trump rally. Now the real sad part is from the players that were earning a living off of this. Some of them were looking at it as you know their their oh, primary they're not source get to of play income. Video games for a living anymore. Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of teams that didn't find out until the last minute. You know, a lot of teams went through the efforts of like you know putting out a little love letter to their teams, putting that on Twitter or whatever. Some little like I heart you, do you heart me too cards. Like it was a it was a fun ride, you know, but nothing you lasts ever had forever. Had a fun ride. Nothing lasts forever. Uh, yeah, Nothing man. lasts forever. What they say like they say big girls are like fun to ride, but you, moped. I don't know. What? The the, f- what? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that what? took a turn I wasn't expecting. You told me you ever had a fun I ride. I literally dude. said, "Have you ever had a fun ride?" And you go to mopeds <laughs> <laughs> immediately. What are you th- I thought that was what you were meaning. I meaning. just I didn't know what I meant. I just was like, I let you. I give you the. I give you the sprinkle. You take it with however you want it. Well, I'm, I'm just speaking from the heart. All right. Hey, so, it's all about heart in this podcast. I enjoy a good fun ride. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. I uh, actually randomly we're gonna date this today. A guy put a comment on one of our podcast videos that just said. Everyone and their dog has a podcast now. And I was like, Ain't that the truth? It is. And I'm like, We've had ours since 2017, though. Like, mm, if anybody's matter. ahead of the game, it was us. I, you know, and, you know I, I feel like we got in on the, on the ground floor, but, you know, whatever. No respect. No, nobody has respect. He's like, My first one was done in 2012. I'm like, Yeah, whatever, bro. <laughs> I've it. been doing it since you were in diapers, kid. Oh, whatever. He's like, No, I don't really care. Anyway, I just was like, Oh, it's interesting because it is. Everyone does have a pot. You know why we don't have a lot of listeners? <laughs> Joking, we have to Because <laughs> you talk. Because <laughs> <laughs> like J.K. Rowling doesn't have a podcast or whatever. Who, why would J.K. Rowling have a podcast? She wants to talk about her stance against. And she said that she doesn't even feel all that like that, man. She said it ain't even that deep. She said, y'all just tripping. Y'all just tripping. That's what she said. So, like, if, like, 
if like I was out here just like n wording in the street and being like, I don't even feel like See, that. Y'all just tripping. That's a little much. That's a little. That's a little different. You can't. You can't ostensibly do something. Didn't and then be like, like I didn't mean to do it. She made a statement that just didn't fit with what everybody else thought. Mm. But she said it's not like she has. It wasn't like, like slurs are bad. Yeah, she didn't go out there and say these. It's this killing stuff. And, you know, she didn't say that. Okay, gotcha. She was just like, eh, you know. I just heard she had some. She had some anti. She was like, you know, I don't think I would like that. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, what? Harry Potter. God damn, Harry Potter. You, anyways. A transphobe because she don't like it. <laughs> all right, man. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please watch it. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy town.com and subscribe. Speaking of which, I love trans people. Me too. Call and me. Jo- call me. Call TNT. And Jonas and TNT. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we out.